Hey, it's Tristan from www.primaledgehealth.com. Down here in the garden, walking around, getting a little bit of sunlight. Sun's pretty intense today. I'm glad the clouds are out, kind of blocking it a bit. Nice big fluffy cumulus clouds up there. Um, but I want to talk about something that, of course, I won't be able to do it proper justice in a short YouTube video. But I'm going to do my best. Now, when people are looking to lose weight, especially a significant amount of weight, they'll start looking on the internet, they'll find diets, they'll find exercise routines, they'll find advice on how to eat less, how to move more. But in the end, this doesn't really help most people. It doesn't really help anybody. Just tell someone what to eat, what not to eat, that doesn't really help them get out of their situation. And let me tell you why. It takes a lot longer for us to dig ourselves into these holes. It takes a lot of time. It takes years and years and years for us to get to the point where we're very overweight or where we are in a situation that's very hard to get ourselves out of, such as being you know, 100 pounds over, being obese, being very overweight, uh, being addicted to drugs, alcohol, other behaviors, whatever it is, pornography. Um, it takes years and years and years of, of being in these cycles. And we get entrenched in this muck. Like it, might feel so, it might feel so difficult to move around when we're depressed or when we're feeling helpless, when we're very overweight. Now, you can't just get somebody out of that by giving them a simple diet, telling them, eat this food, don't eat that food, and expect them to do well. There are so many internal, psychological, emotional, spiritual factors that lead somebody to engage in behaviors that are, detri that are detrimental to their long-term health, to their vitality, to their happiness. It's not so simple as just telling somebody, hey, eat less food, you're welcome. It's not how it works, unfortunately. It's really easy to tell somebody what to eat, what not to eat. And yes, they can get results if they stick to it. But the thing is, how long will they be able to stick to it? Now, there are usually, when you start to look at um, kind of trying to get to the root of these issues, such as being overweight, getting to the root of the issues of the behaviors that cause us to overeat, to indulge in alcohol, to abuse drugs. These are not just simple things. There could be emotional wounds that are old. There could be trauma that's been there forever, for as long as this person has been alive. It can be trauma from when somebody is very, very young and they felt rejected or neglected by their parents, or they didn't feel properly loved, or maybe somebody hit them or touched them inappropriately, and this creates wounds in our psyche. We can try to cover up that pain, and the trauma, the actual trauma, is not the event that caused it, it's our reaction to it. So it's these little rituals that we get involved in to try and make ourselves feel secure, or feel safe, or feel in control. And it's getting to the root of these issues, and food can be a really big trigger for a lot of people. Food is a very, you can sedate yourself with food. You can slow your body down, slow your physiology down. You can eat so much that you can fall asleep. That food coma that almost everybody knows about. Um, but it takes time to get to the, to the root of this. It takes work. It takes deep internal work. It takes pressure and it takes discomfort. Because that discomfort is what causes us to want to change, to want to change our situation. If we're comfortable, if everything feels fine, then we have no stimulus that makes us want to grow, makes us want to change. So an individual that's looking to lose a significant amount of weight has to first of all go inside, go deep inside and look. Look at what's going on. Observe the triggers that make you want to engage in the practices that keep you in that rut that you don't want to be in anymore. If you've already made the decision that you want to lose the weight, you want to kick the habit, whatever the habit is, you want to quit drinking, whatever it is that you're trying to do, quit, you want to just be a nicer person, quit being 
so defensive all the time. You got to get to the root of the issues. And those getting to the root of the issue takes time. It takes patience. It takes a lot of willpower. It can take faith. It can take actually submitting to the reality of it. Admitting the truth behind it. Admitting that we've been digging our whole, our own little pit. We've been digging it our whole life a lot of times. With our behaviors, with our automatic reactions, with our unconscious reactions. So getting to the root of these issues is really crucial. Um, a lot of the times when somebody kind of goes on a side route in life, takes a little side street, gets off that off ramp a little bit early, goes down, gets in a bad neighborhood, whatever that may be in their life, whether it's getting overweight, getting really out of shape, being depressed, being lazy, um, anger, whatever it might be, there's usually some sort of a wound that's driving the behavior. Some sort of wound that's being fed on. So you got to figure out where's the leak? Where's the wound? Where did it come from? You got to do the deep internal work of actually getting to the root of the issue and healing those, those issues, whether it be low self-esteem or rejection. There's so many different things that can cause us to act out in certain ways and to repeat these actions all the time, like a record going over and over again. So if you're looking to lose a lot of weight, the diet is the easy part. The diet's simple. It's so easy to tell someone, eat this food, don't eat that food. The hard part is getting to the root of the issues, getting to those deep wounds that might be there, that are pretty much there in every single person. All of us have some sort of a trauma. Nobody's had this perfect life where every single day has been a walk in the park. We've all got some sort of trauma that might drive us to act out in certain ways, to stay in certain patterns of emotion, of reaction, of interaction with your environment, of disconnection of your, to your environment. So getting to the root of that, um, it's the hard work. There's no simple answer on how to do that. Every single one of us is going to have our own unique approach. We all have our own special window into reality, special window into life, our own relationship with life, with all of this, with creation, with the Creator. We all have our own relationships with that. We all have our own way of seeing, we have our own way of being. You want to get to the root of that. If you really want to make positive, lasting changes in your life, you have to start shedding some of these layers, whether it be rejection and fear of rejection and acting out in certain ways which will bring upon this energy because it's comfortable, it feels comfortable, it's normal. These behaviors become addictive. The dissociation, eating food until you kind of physically dissociate in your body, chilling out, playing Xbox, getting stoned, dissociating, whatever it is there's so many different ways that we disconnect and we've got to wipe our eyes clean look deep down inside and get in touch with reality get in touch with the truth because the truth is nobody got fat just from a few days of overeating just because they accidentally ate too much whoops no there's other factors that drive it there's other factors that drive us to behave in certain ways that may be detrimental to what deep down inside we really want, what deep down inside we're really even access to. So, yeah, this is a this is a deep subject, something that can be really can't really do it justice just in a quick YouTube video. But I'm not gonna let that stop me from babbling about it. Um, talk more about this in some videos in the future. Let me collect some, collect my thoughts a little bit more on it. And um, yeah, well, this is Tristan from www.primaledgehealth.com. Check out the website, more videos, podcasts, more coaching. Get us up in the coaching section. And uh, I'll see you next time. Get to the root of the issue. Diet's the easy part. Do the real hard work.